colour theory tip number two. So this is going to be about tone and tone is super important when like mixing colour and knowing how to get started on your piece. So tone is warmer, cooler, lighter, darker and I use this and I still mentally say this in my head a lot when I'm painting is when you're looking at something and say I'm like painting this part of my forehead I would look at this and think okay compared to this part is it warmer cooler lighter or darker and then you look at the piece that you've just painted up here and then you look at the your your color your color palette and you think like okay what do I need to add to that to either make it slightly warmer and lighter so you'd be like okay I might need to add a little bit more yellow ochre and a little bit more um, white to kind of achieve that difference in the skin tone and I know that sounds super basic and super silly but honestly it really helps with making your piece look true to life and getting that kind of light effect like I paint a lot of water and I paint a lot of skin tones and you can kind of see in different parts of it like in the water you might have something that's a lot cooler whereas their skin might be a lot warmer in shade or you might have different parts like depending if it's in direct sunshine or in shadow and honestly those four words I know it sounds super simple but those four words I I think all the time when I'm really struggling with like a section I'm just like okay is this piece warmer or cooler is it lighter or darker and it's it's really helpful for me so I hope that helps I'm going to do part three